Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're going to try to make some uh, nice French baguettes in the Dutch oven. So y'all stay tuned. Alright guys, well, uh, I've never made this before. But I have made bread a couple times in the Dutch oven and it usually turns out pretty cool and pretty nice. So let's give it a shot. Alright folks, we're going to go ahead and start our bread our, for our buns, our dough. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go with three cups of bread flour. So it looks like we might have just about enough left here to do that. The last one was a little short. About three cups of bread flour. Okay. To do that, one tablespoon dry active yeast. So put that right in there. One tablespoon of uh, fine sea salt. Okay. Just gonna kind of toss that together. Maybe we'll get a spoon. Might work better. Okay, to that, I'm going to add about a quarter cup of oil, and then we need our water, and it's uh, very important here, we're going to use a, uh, we're going to use our thermopin to check the temperature of that water, and right now it's a little too hot, 132 degrees, you guys can see that, so what we're going to do is we're going to temper it a little bit by pouring in some cold water. We want it to be about a hundred and five degrees. So we'll keep uh, putting cold water into it until it's at about a hundred and ten degrees or so. This bowl is going to take a lot of the heat right out of it as soon as we put it in. You can see we're uh, very close to 110 degrees there now. So. We're gonna go ahead and start um, adding our, start mixing this first, and then start adding our water a little bit at a time. We don't want to kill our yeast. That's why you can't have the water too hot. So we're just gonna give this enough water. To start mixing it into a dough. Water is a vital part of making bread. So I want to start out with my dough, pretty soft, and we can, uh, you know, incorporate more uh, flour back into it to get the right consistency we want. But right now, this is just time for the, the those good old yeast to have a party and start chomping on this, and. Uh, causing their fermentation to happen. So I like to start out a little wetter. So that's a pretty nice wet dough. And now we're just going to cover that thing up with a damp um, cloth. We'll leave it out here in the beautiful, humid, hot summer days of Florida. And it's going to be really happy in a couple hours. Here goes our nice uh, dampened washcloth, a dish towel. So we're just going to go ahead and talk that over so it's protected but it can breathe. We'll let it hang out probably the rest of the afternoon. Here's a little uh, tip for you for uh, doing the first rise on this uh, this bread. It's not warm enough outside, you know. Just take it and uh, take your old, uh, good old Weber kettle grill. She's sitting out in the sun here. Set it right on your Weber kettle grill. Put the lid on. 
You see that uh, tip gauge? It's probably about a about 100 degrees inside there. It's about the perfect temperature for rising bread. So I don't know. I'll give that a shot. It's perfect temperature for rising bread, though, right inside that grill. So we'll come back and check on a little bit, see how it's doing. All right, well, here's our dough after uh, about two hours sitting out there uh, in the sun. And it's nice and foamy. It really smells awesome. We're going to go ahead and sprinkle some uh, flour right over the top of it so we can get in there and get it out of this, uh, this bowl. It's kind of foamy and light and fluffy and stringy. I'm going to go ahead and turn it out on the table. And uh, we're just going to start working it a little bit and folding it over on itself. It's nice and warm and stretchy. And uh, since we're making a baguette, or baguettes for our uh, pan and sausage, we don't want to uh, knead this too much. You know, it would tend to get tough uh, if you really work the dough too far, you're stretching those glutens out. So uh, we want to get it you know, kind of worked out and kind of flattened out. And uh, then we're going to cut it. wide pieces. Try to make uh, four baguettes. And we'll take each one and we'll kind of knead each one. Gives us kind of an equal amount of dough per, per each one. And we're going to kind of stretch it and throw it out. I'm going to put it on this pan. Get a little flour on that. So, Maybe a little oil. That would be better. A little oil on this pan here. So these guys don't stick. So we're gonna be uh, cooking one of the couple of these off in the Dutch oven. So I'm turning it into itself. And then I'll just pull it out a little bit. Kind of folding it into itself and then stretching it. It was nice and pliable, stretchy. That's what you want. Turning it back around into itself, stretching it out. Alright, so we thought it would be a good idea to take some uh, cellophane. We oiled that on one side so that I was afraid that the towel is going to stick to them. So we're going to go ahead and just put some oiled cellophane over them very loosely so they can puff back up. We're ready to bake them as soon as they're doubled in size. Okay, so the ones we're going to do in the Dutch oven, we're going to go ahead and put them in there now. And uh, the reason why is, is we don't want to disturb them uh, at all once they're risen. We just want to be able to go ahead and start cooking them off. So we'll go ahead and get those guys. we're going to do in here and we'll do two in the oven actually I want to roll this one a little bit 
Get a little more round shape on it. We'll set them right in the Dutch oven and we'll let them finish rising right in here. That way when it's time to cook, we don't have to do anything but get it on the fire. Alright, well, uh, outdoor cooking, summertime, Florida. Mm, can be sketchy a little bit sometimes. So, uh, we'll try to keep what we're trying to cook out of the rain here, blowing under the porch. Um, yeah, it's, it's storming. It's storming, guys. Hopefully we can leave this. We'll see. Alright guys, well it's still raining, but we're going to go ahead and uh, give this a shot. This bread, we're only going to put a couple on the bottom. Um, just a couple. Not sure that one's even lit. You know, it's been pouring rain. Got everything pulled in here on the porch. So let's put that down here. Go over and get the Dutch oven. Let's take a look at that bread. Yeah, it's got pretty big. Pretty big. Didn't really get as tall as I wanted it to. Kind of more spread out. So that's why we don't want to put a lot of heat on the bottom. So get it over there. Give the rest of our heat to the top. Try to set up about 350. We'll let you know how it comes out. Hey okay, guys, we're getting set up. Um, I'm gonna put uh, no heat. No heat on the bottom, no coals. Only on top for this. So, some of these are still like, you know, it's 100% humidity out here right now. It's raining. Some of these are not even lit yet. But we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get the rest of them lit. We're going to go top only heat. the storm let's go in here and check on them um, yeah that's pretty disappointing that's pretty disappointing we're gonna fire up some more coals apparently we don't have enough heat uh, or a myriad of other things that could go wrong with bread all right guys I know there's a lot of you out there that are experts on bread which I'd never claim to be uh, an expert on bread I never ever uh, I play around with it just like today uh, and as you can see it ain't looking good so far I started out looking great uh, then it started raining and I guess our pot not hot enough uh, it's one thing but we took the other two we put them inside in the oven at 400 they turned out a little better but not a whole lot all right guys see that little box down below this screen that's the comments box please help me out make me a better bread cooker baker i whatever the hell it is uh leave me some comments down in the box to let me know how i screwed this up why i screwed it up or just if you want to tell me i screwed it up leave it down there 
So uh, here are the ones we did in the oven. I mean, they're nice and brown and all, but they're still like they just they spread out. They didn't stay together and rise up. I I I'm no clue. Uh, so instead of a baguette, we have a panini. Maybe I've uh, discovered by accident how to make panini. Let me know. Hit that comments. All right. Well, since those aren't brown at all, yep. We're gonna go ahead and uh, just load the top. We started about uh, another dozen charcoals. Just gonna put them on top. Hopefully, uh, it brings the heat up enough, and it'll actually brown on top. I don't. Some of these didn't even catch. Others just didn't do great. I'm sure, that's due to the partly due to the humidity. But at any rate, we're going to try to salvage it and make sure it's at least cooked before we take it out of there. All right, well, it's been like another 20 minutes since I loaded this thing up. It's starting to brown a little bit. Give it another 10 or 15. Now it's going to sprinkle rain on me again. Uh, so we'll drag it back under here, see if we can salvage this, this bread. It may end up uh, being chicken food. Real quick chicken update. Here are our girls right here. Um, they are really big now. And they're really, they're uh, not camera shy. And they're not afraid of lightning. You hear that in the background. So let's go around here and see if uh, they've been producing anything, finally. So, we got here and we modified this uh, this pan a little bit the other day, made this door. So let's take a look inside and see if we got anything in there. Oh, hey. We got a couple eggs. But somebody's slacking. We were getting, uh, we were getting quite a few. We were getting one from each, each bird here last week. But this week seems to be only two, but they are beautiful brown eggs. We're going to really enjoy those. Yes, I took the egg. Who's not laying? Hmm? Alright guys, we're taking this off of here now whether she's done or not and uh, it's pretty done not quite as brown as I would like I'm gonna go ahead bring it over here I'll let it cool off again that uh pretty much looks like a panini not a baguette what we were trying to make Hey, well, okay, uh, this cook here has been like a complete disaster. Uh, luckily, this just bread, you know, just bread. It's a couple of bucks worth of flour. And, um, you know, no great loss. We weren't cooking prime rib here. Uh, I flipped that bread over because it was uh, like still completely raw on the other side this side don't look too much better all right we're gonna go ahead and take it out put it over here on a pan yeah, it's nice and tender that's for sure okay let's just pull it out of here still kind of soggy my decision not to put any coals on the bottom uh, that was not good I thought we'd get enough uh, heat from the top, but no. And then uh, the bread just spread out instead of rising up. So, I don't know. Might be good for something. We'll see. But, uh, like I said, uh, you guys leave, uh, leave us some comments down there in the comment section. Tell us what we did wrong. Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet today. Even though it didn't turn out great, hey, please subscribe, share, comment. Hey, we always give you the good, bad, and the ugly here. 
So we'll see you next time. Thank you.